Hello, the purpose of this screencast is to teach you how to create the interview scenario. I say scenario, you might say scenario. I apologize in advance. Um, so, what is the interview scenario? Basically, when you're done with it, you and your partner will have a good sense of why the interview is happening. Under what circumstances are these two people getting together and conducting an interview? Why is there an interviewee being interviewed by an interviewer? Some people have done just the standard talk show. They have an interviewer who just asks the interviewee questions about his or her life. But in the past, people have also gotten really creative. And I'll discuss some of those creative ways or circumstances surrounding the interview. Before we get into the scenario, it's important to see where we've been. The combined notes organizer needs to be done by you and your partner before you get into the interview scenario. And of course, this involves creating one document between the two of you, a shared document, and you are loading all your relevant notes into five categories. This is what you are, need to do before you start the scenario. Once that's done, then you can get into doing the interview scenario. And I'm going to simply read these out loud and explain them a little bit, and then I'm going to show you how they work. So you're watching the screencast already for the assignment. One member of the team creates the document, interview scenario, and shares it with his or her partner. So just like the combined notes organizer, one of you, let's say Biff, is going to go down here and create this document. And the other one, Maud, is going to have it shared with her, and then they both work together on the same document. That is so I can go into Classroom and see your work. So I don't want you to be creating something by making a copy of something and doing it outside of Classroom. I also don't want you working separately. This is collaborative. Hence the next one, number three. The team collaborates by meeting, in quotes, online to complete the interview scenario together. This is something where it's probably important for you to get a time, takes about a half hour, come together online, and make sure that you get this scenario done. Another method might be one person puts in all the ideas, the other person checks it and makes any changes that need to be made. But you and your partner work that out so you're doing an even amount of work. Finally, develop a creative reason for the interview you're going to be answering what are the circumstances surrounding the interview? What is bringing these two people together, the interviewer and the interviewee? There have been some interesting ones from the past. So, if I am Biff, I'm going to open up this document, and I have my own version that up here would say, you know, Biff McGee interview scenario. And then Biff McGee is going to go to share. And Biff is going to find Maud and see if Maud would pop up and share that document with Maud. So both of you know that it's under Biff's name, but Maud is a part of the creation. I, as the teacher, will know that too. And then you share it so that you can both work on it at the same time. You also want to make sure that you give that person that you're sharing it with editing privileges so that he or she can manipulate it. Okay, then it says, the team collaborates by meeting online to complete this thing together. And this kind of goes with the next one, develop a creative reason for the interview, what circumstances are bringing these two people together to have information shared. Well, that's what comes out by answering the questions on this. So it says, after completing this Google Doc, students will be able to determine the context of the interview, um, imagined or real. So it can be something some people have, you know, had a ghost come back from the past, or they've done something more realistic. They need to determine the person giving the interview imagined or real. So one of you two has to be the interviewer, the person asking the questions. Find an authentic image of your topic. You're going to see down the line here that you need to find a picture of your person from Minnesota's past. And then develop a list of items that you might need for your costume. 
So start thinking about how you're going to dress on interview night. It all depends on your scenario. All right, part one, who is conducting the interview? So directions, real specific. In the box below, students will type up the scenario or situation, real or imagined, imagined, within which the interview is taking place. You and your partner probably need to maybe have a phone call or exchange some texts and talk about a creative way to do this. Determine who is being interviewed. Determine where the interview is taking place. Determine when the interview is taking place, like what year. A lot of people like to do later on in the person's life so they can answer questions about their life. But people have gotten even more creative than that. Um, determine who is conducting the interview and determine why the interview is taking place, real or imagined. Okay? So then all these questions are right here. And you and your partner will work together to respond to the questions I just went over in these boxes. And you're going to start shaping out what brings your two people together for this interview. Part two image of your topic. Directions. In the box below, students will conduct a Google search in an effort to find an authentic image of their topic and copy the image in the box below. So right here you're going to take the image from Google Images and you're going to place it in this box below so you have a good image of what your person looks like. That's going to help you with part three which is list of clothing items for your costume. In the box below, or in the box below, create a list of five to ten clothing items. Let's just go with this. Below, students will create a list of five to ten clothing items they can use to create their costumes for the evening of the performance. Only include items they can find in their homes. You are not going out and purchasing a costume. Everybody in the past has just found things around the home and to look as closely, as close to the person as possible. Also, I want you to be very sensitive to the fact that sometimes you might be playing characters that are not from your cultural background. If you go into the store, let's say, and buy a Native American costume, that can be really offensive to Native people and to all people, really. So you want to be careful. You want to look as close to the person as possible and be authentic. So this is the interview scenario that you and your partner need to complete. And in closing, there are two videos here. One is um, by Ms. Berman and Ms. Samba. And they have a really interesting story behind theirs. They did Rose to Tino. And what it does is um, Ms. Berman here is finding out that she's having an, some somebody's coming in to get a job from her. Oh no, sorry. Somebody's coming in to get a loan from her. So she works at the bank. And this woman comes in and she's expecting, oh, well, if I'm giving out a loan, it's going to be a man that comes in. But really, it's a woman and it's Rose Totino. And then the bank person asks her a bunch of questions about her life um, in the process of getting the loan and then gets more interested in her life and then realizes that, oh, here I thought it was going to be a man because only men usually come in and ask for loans, but really it's this high-powered woman, Rose Totino, which of course she found her Totino's pizza rolls. Um, we have another one here that you should watch, and this one has Alex and Greer from a couple years ago, and this is the first Minnesota. So Alex, you can see the clothing they're wearing. Alex plays um, one of the members of the 1st Minnesota Regiment who survived, Charles Godard. And he's being interviewed by a reporter who, is, who wants to know more about the 1st Minnesota's involvement in the Civil War. And then in that, he asks Godard a bunch of questions about his life. So that's what brought these two together. Other really creative ones from the past was one time a person was put under the hot lights um, in a detective interrogation, and that's what brought forth all the questions. And of course, it made sense because the person was, I believe, a police officer or gangster or something like that from Minnesota's past. Um, another one was for Charles Schultz. Um, Snoopy came back to life and asked Charles Schultz a bunch of questions, or, or it was uh, Charlie Brown. 
that came back to life off of the page of Charles Schultz and started asking Charles Schultz a bunch of questions. So there's been some really creative ones in the past, and you're going to start shaping that together now. Um, where are you going? After this, look to me making, I uh, will be making another screencast teaching you how to make the Minnesota interview script. And you and your partner are going to start this digitally together. All right. If you have any questions, make sure you email and make sure you look out for due dates. All right. Goodbye.